All right, here for round one, and I can't imagine ever throwing this hand back. Uh, this is fairly painful, but I think we're doing okay. The issue is like Nakadal into Eidolon means that we need two red sources, so we're gonna have to take three from Foothills and some from Foundry also. Well, I'm sure this is gonna create an interesting situation though. I could just bolt his Swift Spear off the bat. Uh, or I could play out Nicotl and growth it to get around his bolt. Could also potentially block and growth. Assuming he taps out for like Cantrip Cantrip. So yeah. I think I need to stem the bleeding while also turning the corner and things like mutagenic growth help you do that. Like sure I could just bolt his thing and like bolt his next thing but I think this gives me a better chance to win the game overall. So this should be fun. We'll see how this plays out. I don't think anyone's ever really expecting the mutagenic growth out of the Nicotle deck. I also think it's just better to have a board presence for our Eidolon rather than going like removal spell, removal spell into Eidolon. Yeah, bring that Swiss Spear. I guess if he has his own mutagenic growth then I'm in trouble, but not a card people typically play, so hopefully that doesn't happen. Would be pretty good though. Black Cleave Cliffs, jeez. Alright, so now I'm at 12. And I think we're just going to relegate this probe to being a dead card for the moment. I'm at 12, he's at 15, but I have two bolts. Black mana. I am fine with that. You go nuts. I'm liking this so far. I like what I see. It's kind of like a, a better burn deck with a little bit more robustness. If that's even a word. I don't know. But uh, so far, Probe's not been great. But I imagine there are certain matchups where Probe would actually be fantastic. Feel like... Taking a lightning bolt would be the worst thing for me, but if they take they kind of have to take an idol on so if I play the second one Then they just get locked out Oh now we just have three bolts, okay, it's a lot of bolts And since they inquisition first Before using a removal spell. I think it's safe to say they don't actually have one Now I'm just trying to figure out what's going on with this person's deck. Molten Rain. Jeez. Jeez. I don't like that too much. I only have two white sources. But they didn't even target my white source, so I guess it's okay. Nakadal is still big. They're also just dead, so there's that. But the old discard LD deck, huh? So presumably they have some young pyromancers in their Swift Spear deck. So I think we want fallouts and these gut shots. 
Not sure how I feel about all the pump spells. Like, I think growth is going to be good regardless because it's fantastic against lightning bolts. Uh, Rampage is probably good to get through tokens. Become Immense seems like the worst one. Boros Charm is probably just going to go upstairs. So, I could also bring in stuff like Chain of the Rocks. I feel like these Immenses are probably not the best. Maybe I should just bring in the two chains. I'm on the draw, so that make, makes things a little more difficult. Oh, he has Molten Rain, though. I can't do that. Get out of here, Chain of the Rocks. I don't know if it would keep in Molten Rain against me, but that's certainly not something I want to do. Man, that could be bad. I think that's good, though. All right, here for game two, and our hand's pretty bad, but I kept it because if he's trying to Molten Rain us, uh, this is fine. We have four lands. Uh, I also don't mind just hard casting a Rampager in this matchup, and I think Fallout is probably going to be pretty good, uh, just judging from what I saw, but could certainly be wrong about that. Hopefully I'm not. But, I mean, if you're playing, like, uh, a bunch of cheap cantrips... Inquisition, Molten Rain, Swift Spear. I gotta imagine you have Young Pyromancer. So, uh, there's certainly the risk of me trying to sandbag this Fallout and it's just getting discarded at some point. Alright. Uh, I don't think I want to fetch a land. I think I would rather just play Nakatal off Stomping Ground, get a white source with one of these fetches and then fetch basics with the other two so that I'm not taking a bunch of damage because I do think I'm going to curve up to three and four this game. So we'll try to use this windswept teeth next. Save this foothills. Fifth lane was definitely not what I wanted. But it might be good if he tries to molten rain me. We'll see. Well, six land is certainly not what I wanted then. Oh, maybe this deck wants some lightning helixes. Helices. Maybe that's what I should have put in the board. Something for other aggressive matchups. Am I getting terminated? Jeez. This guy means business. He is playing some serious Grixis cards. That's not Molten Rain mana. We're safe for a turn at least. I wonder if this Tarmogoyf will resolve. Well, so far, it's alive. And we're just going to fetch a Temple Garden. And we'll still be on the, the Fetch Basics plan at some point. Uh-oh. He's got a second red. Not going to use it, though. Maybe Tarmogoyf is just too big to kill. Swift Spear, okay. I can beat that, I think. I hope. There's an Eidolon. It's not bad. Obvious Nambo with Fallout here, but I think that's okay. Hmm. I think my opponent and I are both equally suspicious of each other. She's like, I don't know what this other guy's up to. And make sure to play the one that gets red, so that next turn I could potentially 
play Fallout and then Eidolon if necessary. Well, we're just going to run some fatties out there in the meantime. Still waiting for this Fallout to be good, potentially. Obviously, it's not the best against Swift Spear, but if I can catch him tapped out. I'm kind of curious for the addition of black. Terminate and discard spells don't seem all that great. So he's going to bolt my Rampager. I like that. And another bolt. Okay, I'm, I'm down with that. So, it seems that Tarmogoyf is, in fact, too large to kill. And our Gore Clan Rampager just gained us a bunch of life. So, ooh, okay. Uh, no spell, please. Just how we drew it up. And we're gonna go pretty low, but I think we're gonna try and lock our opponent out here. Both at seven with an idol on in play, except I have a giant Tarmogoyf. So severely flooded, but our cards have been pretty good. Kind of weird that he terminated the Nicodle instead of bolting it, but I guess Mutagenic Growth just put like the Fear of God into him. I don't know. That's kind of strange, though. I guess that's why he double bolted down the Rampager, although I guess he wanted to get an attack that turn. But I could totally see him, like, double bolting the Goyf and being scared of me having a growth, so that's pretty funny. And I'm going to play the Swift Spear. Might be kind of dangerous. Could just get, like, double bolted here, I guess. Uh, I could also just get, like, Cryptic Commanded. Maybe that's in his deck? I don't know. I probably shouldn't have played this with Spear. But... He's dead. Okay. So, interesting round one. And I'll take... I'll take a few more like that. 